Right, so I was right about the sheep. I thought they'd still be in the field. Right. So straight away, she's um, watches BBC News and the media and the, what the government tell you. What the, you know? Fuck them. It's, you know. Excuse the French, but that's what I say. Fuck them. Too many rules and regulations to tell them what we can do, what we can have, what we can't have. They can fuck off. Gotta do this, gotta do that. Can't let your dog off. <laughs> well, so that's, that's why you bring them out, give them a bit of run to exercise them. Right, so there's a major path going off to the right there. And it must go up, up there through those trees. But I turn left, well I stay left here and go past this concrete post because I'm going to the fish pass. There's loads of um, tree branches caught up on the, the, the ford here. Right, so there's more sheep along there through that gate, look. Right, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so you can go down there and just have a quick look inside the, the different sections of... There's different sections like lower and lower with boulders that the water flows over into the next one. And they start back there where the metal railings are. But that's how the fish get back up um, stream by jumping up on each section to get back into the main river at the top there. There's a big cormorant just flew past there going up the hill. You're doing it again. I don't know what you're eating, but stop. You're going to end up with a bad stomach, you. You're a bad dog. Do you know what he's eating like? Right, so there's a metal seat here north for people to sit down and just enjoy the river going past. Wow, look how high the water is. <laughs> Bloody hell. I take your time soon, I don't want to fall over in all this water. You can normally walk along that platform, it's, you can see it's all concrete, and you just look past the, the metal handrails there, and look how many trees is caught up on the rocks, in the power of the water, um, going over the, the far side there. Good boy, son, good boy. Good boy. I'm getting tripped over by these bloody brambles, man. Slurp, slurp. Suction, suction. Right. So, like I say, you can walk along that concrete there, that like you can just see under the surface of the water, and go to the end of the handrails there for uh, taking pictures and fil filming. The drop down in between each uh, rock section there. Right, come on, son, up here, come on, up you go. Up. Right, I forget what it says on the seat now. Uh, this seat is placed here in loving memory of Ian Jeffrey Johnson, who loved to fish these waters. Uh, a dearly missed son, brother, husband, and father. 1959 to 1999. A son to be proud of, a brother to be proud of. That's nice. Nice memorial plaque on the seat there. Right. Let's see if there's any on these two um, stone. You, this must be an old gateway or something. Right, so this is just information. Shotley Grove Fish Pass, that's what it's called. That's just showing you the different kind of fish that you see on this river. Some ugly ones and all. <laughs> and grey wagtails. So many minnows.
All right, so we'll continue along the path here. All right, come on. At one point in time, you've got to drop down and walk along like a beached area, but it'll be totally flooded uh, with the water being so high. So I don't know if it's going to be possible to get back along here. Probably end up having some fun and games, I'll tell you. Right, well, I think I'm in a safe area now because I've passed the fields where the sheep are. Right, come here, son. Come here, come here, come here. Good boy, good boy. There. Right, so I'll give him some time off the... Off the leader. I think I broke my pocket. Right, so I've got to go all the way back along here towards where the pumping station is, the old pump house. Oh, the, the sheep through there. Hopefully he just stick with the path. There's like three or four sections of open field going back towards the A68. See the squirrel going across the path there. Well, hopefully we're far enough away from that field here where the sheep are, so you'll not see them. We'll just bypass them. But that's where I pointed down where people take their dogs down there for a plodge, and that's where the water's going up there. That's where I went up the bank. Just there, look. So I was up on that side, then I went past the glamping Dutch huts on the way, going that way. Right. So the closer I get back towards the A68 as well, is uh, I'm more likely to bump into the dog waters coming back this way. A little bench seat for sit on. It's funny now when I watch other people's um, videos, when, it, when they mention, oh, there's a bench seat, you know, I just see somebody walk across the field over there. So they must be coming from up there through the trees at the top end, going back to get on the main path at the fish pass. So there is pathways coming down from through the trees up there. But like I say, because I'm not local, I don't know where up there is. I just know me the general area I'm in. I've just seen another. Um, oh, it's him. I thought it was in the squirrel. I just got up the hill there. There was one time I came along here. I made I made a mistake and I ended up going up to the right. And I got I got to a point where I couldn't get any further. So I had to double back on myself to find out where I made a mistake. All right, son. Yeah, come on. There's a main path we're going along there. But I'm just sticking close to the river so I can get back past the um, the pump, the old pumping station with the um, graffiti sprayed on it. Good boys and good boy. So he's still spotting like loose bits. I'm keeping an eye on, on his, um, his passings because I want to know if he's getting clear. Good boy, son. Good boy. Good boy. Go to the toilet, son. Go to the toilet. So every time he's going, I'm saying, go to the toilet, son, so he knows what I want him, want him to do. Good boy, son. Go to the toilet, son. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Go to the toilet, son. Good boy. Good boy, son. He looks like he's, he's, he seems to be straining a bit and all. Good boy, son, good boy. Good lad, good boy, son. 
I mean, obviously, when he's running along, it's, it's loosened him up and allows him to go. So if he was um, constipated, this would clear him. Now, I think this is where I ended up making a mistake last time. I went up the hill. But what you're supposed to do is go along the, the embankment where there, there was a beached area, and that keeps you on the bottom path. I think the beached area is just down there to the left here, because there's the island. Yeah, this is where I fucked up, because I went up, up the hill here. And you're supposed to go along. Ah, th this is where I fucked up. Yes, yeah, son. How are you? You're supposed to go down here, down here onto the beached area. So you keep down on the lower path. Good boy, son. Good boy. So this is how you get further around and continue with the journey. Because if you go up there, it just takes you to a dead end, where there's a big drop down. Um, there's loads of fallen trees in the way, so you kind of get along. But I'm, you're supposed to be on this bottom path here, look. So I'm glad I've seen this bit to go, come down here. Instead of, that's where I went up there and I went so far along and then it's just come to dead end and there's too many fallen trees and you can't get, get any further. So I had to double back and get, come all the way back here and try and find this bottom path. So I got a bit more information from her and all about the how the river bursts its banks. There's a cormorant I see him flying along earlier on. It's just taking off there. I remember so far along here and all that is you've got to get on a on a the pathway is like full of uh, tree roots, full of it. But you can see where the water's splashing up against the, the soil embankment here. The, it looks like a rusty red, the colour of the water. Where it's washing away the sand, giving it that rusty colour. I, I remember these, these, these bits of islands, because I'll... Um, Waded across onto them. So the pathways are starting to get flooded, look, because the, the rivers burst its banks. <laughs> He's just jumped across there. Okay, so you can see where the people have had a kind of to the right hand side here. You can see the boot prints in the sand to get past all this water. Now, there's loads of tree roots here, but I don't think this is what I was talking about. It's further on. duck little branches and alkanes to get past here. <sighs> oh, son. <laughs> Good boy, son. Good boy. So you lost, you lost sight of us there and you come running back, so that's good. Good boy, son. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, son? Good boy. He's curious of the water, look, he's, he's keep going in, doing a bit of plodging, but he's still a bit weary, look. Which is good, in a sense, because I didn't want him going in some deep, fast-moving water one day and just getting swept away, and I kind of get, get to him, pull him back. 
So, I'm glad he's been um, cautious. <laughs> he's just disturbed those mullards. <laughs> right on the edge of the mountain here. These are all the things that he doesn't know what, what the hell they are because he's so young. He's just new to life, basically. So this is where he's, he's got to get used to his environment and see all these things like horses, cows, sheep. Just like he's curious about going up to all other dogs. Right, so there's a bit of open field that you go across after coming past the, um, the old pumping house. So I'll be coming up past it soon again. By the river, it's really flooded here, look. It's bursting its banks. So this is all coming down from Derwent Reservoir. He's getting another long drink, look. Good boy, son. Good boy. Get a drink, son. Get a drink. Good boy. Good boy. Are you washing all your paws off, son? You're a good boy. Good lad. Good boy, son. Good boy, eh? Yeah. Good boy, son. He loves you, lad. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, son. Okay. Fresh footprint. So somebody's just been along here recently. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, the pathways. Um, no, come here, son, come here. What the hell? Um, the pathway's been washed out. Good boy, son. Good boy. Ah, the path is gone. Looks like people have um, had to make alternative pathways going around those trees. Whoa, I'm sinking in here. But this is the roots I'm on about of the water along here, look. I might have to go round the back of those trees. We, we can see other people going through the brambles. Now that the dog's gone past them all, I'll probably get, get across and be able to do that. Or just continue along this um, sand embankment. Stay there, son. Stay there, good boy. Stay there, son. Well, I certainly come here along, along here on a, on a bad day <laughs> for rain and the embankment's filling up with water. I'm fighting these bloody brams, all the wrap around my bloody anchors. Slurp, slurp. Right. 
Good boy, son. Good boy. Right, so there's the um, the depth gauge and all of the pump house straight up ahead. So once I get past that, I think the path will start getting back to normal. We can just walk along like of this where I'm on now. But yeah, you can see other pathways going across the top there to get past that bit. So I might have to go up there and along there. Hi, right, son. Yeah. Hi. Right. Hi. Right. Come here. Come on. Yeah. I don't know why. It's... Yeah. Hi. Right. Come on. Hi, right, son. Come on. I think he's seeing something. Hi, right, son. Come on. Hi. Right. I'll have to wait. It comes. Hi, right, son. Son. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Hi! I don't like it when he's out of sight, but there's the um the spray paint on the gable wall of the pump station. Hi son! He must have spotted something, he's um run after it to investigate it. Son, hi. Hi, son. Here, let's come back there now. Oh, I'm sick of these bloody brams, man. Try to trip this over. You wrap around your bloody ankles. You've got to drag through them. Where you been? Hey, where you been, you? You bad dog. But well, this is um, probably all these roots I was on about on the path. Where you been, you? Hey, you bad dog. Hey, up here, stay out the water. He's getting used to the water though. He's just running through it now. He's not. Worried about stepping in it. Good boy, son. Good boy. Right, come on. Out your way. Come on. Get. How oh, I get out the way? Right, this has turned out to be a bit of an adventure, more than I anticipated. Right, there's a bit of a broke wall that goes out halfway across the river. You know, but obviously you kind of see it at the minute. It's cut, it's, it's, the water's flooded it over the top of it. When I get close back to the A68 main road as well, I'll have to put him on his leader. But that's that bit of a wall. There's so much that goes halfway into the 